Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics and this is a very interesting challenge. A lot of students make this mistake, a lot of students fail to solve this question on, on their exam and this is a very interesting challenge for us today. Before solving this question I suggest you to pause the video, try to solve it by yourself and I give maybe 99% that you solve this question absolutely wrong because this is the trickiest question I've ever seen. We should simplify this expression. We have 9 to the power 9 to the power 9 and what is the correct answer for option A, B, C and D? Write your suggestion down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about your approach, what do you think is a correct answer? It will be really interesting. First of all, we should know a really interesting thing about square root. So take a look closely. For example, square root of 5. Let's start with this. Square root of 5. We can write this square root of 5 as 5 to the power 1 over over 2. Right here we have 1 because 5 to the power 1 we don't we don't use this always. And right here because of this is square root. So we, right here we have 2. We don't use this always. But we can, some, some, sometimes we can easily write this 5 as 1 to the power 1 half. Okay, this is the first example. For example, let's look at this maybe fourth uh, root of of uh, six uh, six to the power five, something like that. We can easily write it as six to the power five over four. So all the time, the power of our root goes to our denominator, and the power of our value goes to our numerator. Okay, one more example. For example, let's look at the square root of uh, eight. Let's go with eighth root of thirteen, thirteen cube. Okay, this is equal to 13 to the power 3 to our numerator and to our denominator we have we have 8, the power of our root. And if we look closely, all the time we divide this power of this value inside by the power of our root. So right here we divide it by 2 in our denominator, right here we divide this by 4 from our, from our, to our denominator, right here by 8. So all the time we divide by the power of our root. Yeah, I hope you understand this logic because this is the key moment right here, and we can easily, if you understand this logic, we can easily continue solve this to th continue solve this challenge. So, square root of nine to the power nine to the power nine equal to. Okay, as I told before, right here we have square root, so we should divide this power by this by this two. So we have nine to the power nine to the power nine. We divide it by by two. And right now, let's try to simplify this a little bit. Okay, so we have 9 to the power. And 9 to the power 9, this is like a long product. 9 times 9 times 9 and a lot of this 9. So 9 times, yeah? So right here we have 9 times and we divide it by, by 2. Okay, how can we divide it? Let's divide uh, this 2. Let's cancel this 2 with this one of this 9. So right here we cancel this. So we have 4.5, which is equal to 9 to the power 4.5 times right here we have 9 to the power 8 because right here we had 9 to the power 9 we cancel with this 9 and 2 one time so we have times 9 to the power 8 okay maybe someone can evaluate it a little bit but i want to leave it like that because we have this option this is option d so let's write our answer our answer this is option option d this is a very tricky challenge of course write your suggestion down into the comment section what do you think about this answer what do you think is a correct answer to this challenge and uh, thank you for your time have a great day of course if this video is helpful in any way don't forget to like and subscribe and that definitely helped me out for this for this particular video and of course write your suggestion in the comment it will be really interesting uh, to read about uh, uh, the opinion from the professors what do you think about this solution what do you think about this answer what do you think about this obvious solution because a lot of students choose this option Option A, this is the most common mistake. A lot of students think that we should apply the square root to the whole uh, values right here. Another part of students apply this to this only to these powers. Another part of students apply only to this last uh, value on the top right here. But as you can see, correct answer is if this one. This is my approach to this question, of course. Write your suggestion down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to, about, uh, to read about it. And of course, thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.